Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're going to be installing another product on the 23 Chevy Colorado Trail Boss, that being the Putco Molly panels for inside the bed. Uh, these are great for kind of using that dead space that you would never really get to use in the bed of your truck. So while these are fantastic for being able to use that space, they are quite high in price for what they are. I'm happy I got them, not really happy with the price but I'm gonna show you how to install them, show you kind of what I'm gonna do with the setup, but I'll quickly show them to you, and then we'll get them installed. So here we are looking at the Putco Molly panels. This is the right and left. They also have the tab side as well, but I'm gonna be installing another product that um, won't work with the front bed panel, Molly panel in there. So I just decided to go with the outside too, or each side. Now, I actually ordered these from GM and that was about a month, month and a half ago and they had been on back order and Putco I guess was still designing them. So here's the overall look at the side ones. It's not going to cover the entire side like some models but I think it's still going to be good enough to still going to be enough for me to get some good use out of it. But like I said I ordered these from GM like a month, month and a half ago and they were still working on them. Putco released them on the website and I gave it like another week, week and a half and GM still hadn't shipped them. So I canceled my order on GM and I placed my order straight through Putco because it stated that, well, for one, it was the same price. They had a discount going on. I think it was overall the same price though, but it shipped that same day. So I could have been waiting, I don't know how long for GM to get these and ship them or even place my order. So I did that and I got it within two days. So really happy with that. You got the main panels here. You got the brackets that actually bolt to the back side. And then you got your hardware. I'll show you how to assemble all of that and get that installed in the bed. And then you bolt that to these brackets. So very simple. And I'll be using this to mount my roto packs as well as my pure sine wave inverter and a couple other items like a fire extinguisher, which I already have, but I don't have the mount yet and then a couple other items. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm gonna install what I can, but this video, we are primarily focusing on just getting these panels installed. So let's go ahead and get started. Two different size fasteners. You have the one larger one, and then you will have multiple of the smaller ones. The larger one is to create your bracket assembly. The smaller ones are for actually attaching this panel to the bracket assembly. As far as this assembly, you just take the larger bolt, you pass it through. Then this is going to replace basically a plastic piece that we're going to remove in the bed. So you drop that on. And then you take your metal plate. This is actually going to pass through the bed and kind of clamp to the end of it. And you just thread that on. So you end up with a bunch of these. And uh, we got to get these installed first. And then they also include a couple of backing plates in, in case you want to add your own molly grips and stuff to the front side of it. But other than that, it's as simple as that. The only other thing you'll need is really a flat screwdriver or a pick of some sort to remove the plastic caps inside the bed, which for the 23 Colorado are these three right here, which we'll be removing and getting the brackets mounted. So once you have all three of those done, uh, you're basically just passing that metal plate through here at an angle and then keeping pressure pulling outwards on this bracket in order to keep that uh, bare metal bracket straight up and down. And then that plastic cap is basically keeping it in place to make sure that it's not going to rotate. And uh, you don't have to snug these up all the way yet because we still have to get the panel on here in order to make sure all the holes line up. As far as far as these and then you can come back and uh, snug them up and keep in mind that there may be some items that you want to add to the panel as far as mounting brackets and things 
before you actually put it on here. So keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and get the bracket and see how it lines up. So we have the Molly panel in here and I have the bed lighting that I installed, which technically actually gets in the way. Uh, but I found that if I slide it up through here, I can get it above. And I can get the brackets to line up that way. And it still gives me access to the lighting without having to move the lighting. So I'll go ahead and get you guys set up and we'll get this thing bolted in. Then we can come back and actually tighten these. And that's it as far as the driver's side install of the Molly panel. I do wish these ones would come down all the way, but I can understand with the bed design why it is the way it is. It's nice and recessed and kind of gives you access to use that otherwise dead space if you didn't have these panels. I just wish they were a little bit more affordable, but in the USA by Putco. Order direct from Putco, not GM. Now I'll go ahead and get the other side installed. Don't mind the boxes in the middle. Um, some, I use this as a work truck as well. Uh, had to remove some stuff to actually get in here. Uh, but we have the Molly panels in, which were extremely easy to install. I did have to remove them to get the brackets put on for the roto packs. But sandwich those in there fit nicely right in that kind of unused space even though the molly doesn't come down it still mounts perfect for the height of the roto packs so it fits very nicely in there and then my fire extinguisher will go up there and then you can also see my inverter on this side and then the lights aren't really accessible anymore so I may end up actually moving them to a different location because it also doesn't seem to register my finger anymore. Uh, probably due to this being like partially over the sensor. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll probably end up moving those. But other than that, everything else mounts really nicely. Just have that bolted on there. And then I'll come in with my power and ground from right there in the corner most likely and then this also has a remote control or a wired on off switch that plugs in and I'll probably run cut this piece of plastic out to actually match the same so I can mount the remote in here so I can turn on and off the inverter from right here uh, this will primarily for work be used to charge my batteries other than that this will also be used during camping for, you know, running my powered cooler as well as, you know, uh, charging my power station when we're not at site. So everything's charged by the time we get there. And then once we get there, I can use the power station. So I think it'll work out really nicely. I do have other modifications coming to the truck bed, so stay tuned for that. That's it as far as the Putco Molly panels and how I'm gonna have mine set up. The only thing different is I need to finish wiring that and get the fire extinguisher mounted over here once the mount comes in. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.